Hey YouTube, it's Elise acting out. So before we get into the video, um, I'm going to start with some kind of sad news. Um, keep my dog in you all's prayers. My dog, her name is Buttercup. She's 15 years old and she's having some health concerns. Um, we took her to the vet today, but now we're going to have to schedule an appointment with the optometrist because she's having eye issues. So just keep her in your prayers. Okay? All right. Now for the good news, I will tell you the good news at the end of this video. Overall, these are the basic kind of guidelines of how to prepare for an on-camera audition. You want to bring more than one headshot and more than one resume. And of course, it's going to be the standard 8x10. Have the resume attached to the back of the headshot so that when you flip one side, you see your headshot, you turn around, and you see your resume. So all you have to do is flip back and forth. That's all the casting directors or whoever is auditioning, auditioning you has to do. Sometimes you don't even need it. Sometimes you only need to see one, but it's good to always have those extras just in case. Also, if they haven't told you um, any specifics on how they kind of want you to look, just look like your headshot. Like, look as close to your headshot as you can possibly look. Do not wear a white top. Do not wear a black top. You don't know what the background of this audition is going to be. And you don't want to look like a floating head and a white top if they have a white background. Or if you are wearing a black top and they have a black background. What you want to do is wear a plain top with a color that's not distracting. Preferably a color that complements your skin tone and also won't take away from your performance or you. As for bottoms, you might want to wear some nice slacks. Um, you can wear jeans, dressy jeans. Those exist. Yeah. You want to have at least two monologues memorized. This goes for pretty much anything. A lot of on-camera auditions don't really have you read your own monologue that you chose. They'd rather see how you deal with the materials for the actual project they're working on. But just always have them memorized. Also, if you're not offered a character description or sides in the email, usually they'll give it to you um, when you come into the audition. So of course, make sure you're about 15 minutes early so that even though you did not have a character description or a side to prepare for, uh, maybe a day or two prior, you'll have a chance to look over everything and read the description before going to the audition. So those were some tips on how to prepare for an on-camera audition. And now it's time to give you my good news. Okay, I will be going to the West Coast in a few weeks, the first week of February. Yes. February 6th, I will be in LA, West Hollywood to be specific. So if any other YouTubers, actors, um, you know, want to link up during that time, just comment below. That's the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.